Hello there, this is Alana Tucky, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do problem 1.3, number 5 from the actual textbook. And you can see that up here in the right hand corner it says 1.3.5. That lets you know that the problem from the actual physical book, if you opened it up, would be number 5 from section 1.3. Um, this is a particular video I'm making from the study plan, but of course if it shows up in your homework it could be any number of problems in the homework. So the first thing we do is we say, um, we read the problem, of course, and actually I'm going to click on view an example. I'm not going to show you the actual problem here. I'll show you an example like it. So as part of a college literature course, students must um, select three classic works of literature from the provided list and complete critical book reviews for each selected work. Write a short description of the processes that can be used to generate a simple random sample of three books, and then obtain a simple random of sample size three from this list, which is what I'm really here for. So you click on this icon to see these books. There they are. Okay. All right. And then first thing you'd want to do is figure out, you know, what makes things random and all of that stuff. So um, remember, random means that everything is equally likely. You don't want to ask people their own opinions. You want to make it so that there's some random process involved, like a computer program that generates um, random numbers or drawing from a hat, that kind of a thing, as long as the pieces you're drawing from the hat are fair. All right, now what we really want to do is get to this part, which is the using the portion of the random number table provided um, to obtain a simple random sample of size 3. So let me write down these numbers real quick. So for our own benefit, 0, 6, 7, 6, 6, and then 5, 0, 5, 7, oops, 5, 7, 8, and then 1, 9, 9, 5, 3. We won't need all of them, but bear with me. And then I'm going to see this icon of this list right here. All right. So what we want to do is we want to use those numbers to generate three random books. So we start with the beginning, which actually was zero, but it doesn't matter because there is no book zero. So zero is out. That leads us to the number six. Well, book number six is crime and punishment. So six, that would make crime and punishment. Then I want book number seven because that's the next number after the six. So, and that would be... Uh, as I lay dying. Okay. Just to make this um, very obvious, real quick, I'm going to switch this to text one second. Oops, I made it disappear entirely. That's not helpful. All right, so again, the zero we toss, right? So zero is blank. There's, there is no book zero, so that's gone. Six is, oopsie, it's not going to like the blank, so I'm just going to leave it. Six is a book, Crime and Punishment. Seven is As I Lay Dying. Six we ignore. Six we ignore because we already have book six already listed. So we want three separate different books. So now I'm going to go to book five, which is The Sun Also Rises. And now I've got my three books, right? Crime and Punishment, As I Lay Dying, The Sun Also Rises, I'm done. If they wanted a fourth book, which they don't, zero is out again, five is out again, seven is out again, I wouldn't get a new book until I got to book eight, which is Pride and Prejudice. But, of course, they only wanted three, so these three would suffice. And that's it. That's all you do. All right, so I hope that helps with you guys with using this little short bit of a table to find three random books from the the list. And of course, every time you do this problem, it gives you a different random number selection and a different list of books. So, um... The theory of what I just did will work out, but in practice it'll be a little bit different. Enjoy!